Now, the Great Pyramid of Giza is probably the most stunning of all these ancient structures. And the, the stones are immense, and some of them were cut from a quarry that's hundreds of miles away. How do you think they did that? Well, some of them, the, the granite in the Great Pyramid comes from more than 500 miles to the south. Um, if you look at the famous King's Chamber, its walls and its roof are, uh, the, the ceiling of the King's Chamber are all made with gigantic uh, granite blocks. Stunning They're, detail. Stunning detail. Those, those blocks on the, King's Ch- on the roof of the King's Chamber weigh 70 tons each. Now, Egyptologists will tell you that, oh, they could move heavy blocks because they put them on wet sand and they push them along on wet sand. Well, maybe if you're just at ground level, that will do. But when you're 350 feet above the ground as you are in the king's chamber, that won't do at all. I don't know how they did it. All I know is they did it. I don't think anybody knows how they did it, how they lifted those stones, how they brought them up to that level. I think we're looking again at a lost technology.